Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I'm the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. What a view, right? The sun is rising on this Atlas day. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It is a Friday episode, so happy weekend to you. All right, first and foremost, let's go over some things from the last episode, comments and all that good stuff. It's a beautiful view. It's just amazing. I've been working with Bluto here. Uh, Bluto went easy on me for calling him Brienne a couple of times last episode, and she instead of he, so uh, Bluto's forgiven me. I think he realizes Brienne is, you know, pretty new to me. She was. She was my first bear, so she's, you know, she's something special to me. Something special. We're sporting our, for, our fur armor, not all of it. We don't have the gloves. We don't have the hat. Uh, but it seems to be working pretty good right around here. Some cold snaps come through here. They do, and it gets chilly. Um... Really good news. So, I've been getting supplies with Bluto. We've got quite a few things already. Did I... I thought I just emptied him. Oh, I see. No, Bluto has much more on him. Let's take that off of him. I've been just collecting just about everything. So, over here, I've been dumping anything that's food-related. I need to get a feeding trough put up is what I need to do. But we're going to do some building today. I hope you don't mind that. We're going to do some building. There's other things to talk about from last episode. Next thing we have to look at is the fact that Charlotte is here. I didn't quite back you up far enough. We're right on the edge of this cliff, and I'm really worried the animals are going to go over the edge, so I hope they don't get into a fight with anything. That's why I've got them pointed that way. If something comes, it's going to come from that direction. Hopefully, they'll just push it back that way, and nobody goes over the edge down here to the shark-infested waters. Charlotte is back. I did find her. I just happened to get lucky going down the hill. She never did make it up here the first try. She only got part of the way, and she got stuck. And she got stuck between a rock and a deep groove in the ground. I'll try to show it to you if, I, if we go by it. We'll be going by it today. And there was another... Uh, bore there as well, but both of them were backed in really far into it, and you could barely see them. Oh, look at you. It took me a while to find them all and get them all back here, but we've got our big guys here. We've got we've got Charlotte, we've got our Boris, we've got another level 50 right here, a 32, a 36. These guys, I put them up front because they're 14 and 15. Don't tell them, but they're expendable. And uh, the 23 is not bad either. They did great. We, they did great. So Charlotte is back in the mix. I managed to find everybody. Even Boris got lost at their last episode. I had to go back and find him as well. So uh, we got everybody in here. So that's fantastic. Um, Delilah's actually had it pretty easy since we've gotten up here. Haven't you, darling? Yeah, we haven't done much with Delilah at all up here. It's been mostly Bluto. And I, you're going to notice I put a cart on Bluto. You make this in the smithy. And you need a level two. A oh, this is, by the way, this is Jimmy. Our, our, our rooster. Jimmy. Jimmy, we don't have a hen yet. Um, if you go to saddles here, to make this, you need a tier two saddle. So, of course, you're going to need the, um, uh, what is that thing called? Uh, the tannery. You're going to need the tannery, make the saddle, then you put this guy together. And then what you have to do after that is you got to come over here and you got to make a, a storage box, a large storage box. And then you just simply click that onto the cart. Now, anything I put in this cart weighs a lot less than it does on my inventory or on his inventory. So you can really stockpile a bunch of stuff on this card. It's fantastic. And something I learned in the comments, and hopefully you guys check the comments out too, because there are some fantastic people that pay attention to the channel, watch the videos, and leave very good information in the comments. You can put cannons on the back of this, and you can remove them, apparently. Uh, this, you have to destroy. This box right here, we have to destroy it in order to get it off the cart to use the cart for anything else. Uh, but the cannons, apparently, you can take off. Now, we can't make any cannons until we have alloys, but good news there is this island is iron. This is an iron island, and we have found coal nodes on here, too. It takes coal, iron, raw iron ore, and wood, simple, 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 to make alloy. So we can have alloy, and we can get our cannons going up here. I would love to put a cannon in a wagon and go down and blow that up. I would just love to do that. I've got to go check on something. We're a little low on the metal front, but we have metal everywhere down the hill here. So we're going to go on down this way. I've been clearing out, I cleared out all this area right up here, just so I'd have a kind of a clean slate. And I'm trying to figure out the best route down without getting the animals stuck. And it's really a difficult thing. It's, it's kind of right through here. We get some of these small pine trees right here that grow up and it gets a little rough right through. It's a little rocky. Um, I'm trying to see where she was stuck, just to show you guys, because it was a really interesting place. I just happened to go by at the right time in the, in the night, and I spotted her. Her name showed up. But she was wedged in with another uh, boar, just really stuck. Oh, right here. This is it right here. 
She was wedged in. Uh, Bluto, I don't think you're set to follow me. No, you're not. She was wedged in right here. Do you see that? So she was up underneath this rock, and there was a second boar that was over the top in here too. So I could not see her, but I just... Fortunately, her name tag showed up, and then I got to her. So, yeah, that, it, that's a that's a dangerous location. So when you come back this way, this is what kind of happens. Ooh, what do we have here? Hello, little chicken. Oh, you're a female. Perfect. Eat a berry. It won't take long, guys. Give me just a second here. We need a, we need a hen. We do need a hen. All right. Now let's talk about the pirates. Yes, last episode. All right. Now, that's it. Uh, oh, wait, 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 okay, um, hold on, hold on, behavior, options, change name, just call her baby, just call her baby, she's gonna lay us eggs, she's gonna be wonderful, she's gonna lay us eggs, oh, I can't pick you up, because I've got squatter on me, so, yeah, you're gonna have to follow me, darling, I hope you can keep up, <laughs> she'll keep up, the pirate, up on the tower, with the, um, the big crossbow. Oh, it's slipping my mind today. Uh, apparently, it wasn't noticed very well that she actually turned with me as I went around that tower. Because I was trying to get up behind her. But every time I'd go ahead and start climbing, she would definitely spin around and get to where she was facing me every time. And then once I jumped up in there, of course, I couldn't move because I was uh, stuck in the ballista. The ballista. Uh, I was stuck in it, so I couldn't get to it. I couldn't get to her to cut her with the blade. Now, a lot of suggestions have come in as to how we can remedy that situation. And uh, we're going to talk about those. Cannons. Come along, please. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Can we make her go close? Let's see. Uh, behavior. Lowest. Yeah, chicky, 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 chicky. He's like, I'm only... She's, I'm only so fast. She'll make it here. <laughs> oh, I've been checking stuff too to see what's what on the island. It's it's a it's got a lot of a lot of stuff. This is just hemp. Okay, yeah, it's the ferns really that you see. I have noticed that you could do this just about all over. It. Well, now it won't do it, but up there above in the grass, the tall grass, you could do that, and it seems to uh, uh, bring in hemp and all kinds of good stuff all the time. So here is the storage. Now you watch. It's uh, 0.4 on me. It's only 0.1 in the cart. So yeah, it's 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 a it's a good deal. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab that and that. There we go. Let's do that. Oh, here she comes. All right, she's coming. So, the suggestions on how to rid ourselves of not only the pirates up on the towers, but the pirates that we had that was inside the house with the door locked, I was causing damage which, with my axe. I figured I was. If I had paid attention to that yellow box just below, it was showing me just how much I was causing, how much damage I was causing. And uh, I don't have my spyglass on, of course. Why would I? I'm just going to need it. What are you? At level 12, huh? Yeah, you're pretty small. We're, we're holding out, people. There's always bears. There, th this uh, this area here spawns bears. We're going to have to put a trap uh, down. Oh, there's another one right there. And what might you be? A two. Never mind. We're going to hold out. We're going to hold out. Bluto here is pretty powerful, and we've got ourselves quite the boar army indeed. Quite the boar army. So, it's cannons. It is... Oh, boy. <laughs> hold on. Let's... uh. Let's drop him right here. There you go. You stay right there, squatter. I gotta go back and get a chicken. <laughs> Cannons. Come here, sweetheart. <laughs> Cannons. Look at this. I love this. It's my chicken. It's my little chicken baby. My little baby chicken. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Look at there. Oh, there's a screenshot if I've ever seen one. What did you do today? Well, I carried a chicken down a rock-infested beach in a cooler climate that's just, you know, absolutely amazing. I think it's going to look really good up there. You can already see we've got a few things sitting up there, but once we get a place up there, it's going to look pretty good, I think. Pretty darn good. And let's hit Y. You need to stay put, my dear. There we go. Let's grab Squatter back, because he's going to give us extra health whenever he's with us. I'm a little too far out from shore, but that's okay. We're, we're okay. I find getting on the ladder in... Uh, third person is easier than first person for me. I don't know why. It just is. <laughs> I know. It's weird. Cannons, grenades, powder kegs. Now, I've not noticed powder kegs in the game as being something that we could do, but if, if it is, it is. Uh, how's my food? 
I'm hungry. My vitamin buff is amazing. Just, it's going really, really well. Let's do that, that, and that. And then I've got the berries on me. It really is going well. Let's go two of those, two of those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. I think we're going to have to bring the berries up a little bit more. Let's do another three of those and a few more of those. There we go. Perfect. Just like so. And now we are set for quite a while. Quite a while. Uh, oh, I need to fill my water uh, my water jar too. Oh, no. What the heck is the lid open for? I must have run out here when it was raining and forgot to come back and shut it. Idiot. All right. So let's go downstairs. Let's go below deck. Here we go. Let's go below deck. That's the proper terminology when you're coming below. You're coming below deck. I'm working on it, guys. I've been learning a lot about the sailing, at least, at least, especially the, the language. It's interesting. Um, what was it? A powder keg, right? No. Grenade? Okay, there's the grenade. I can make the grenade. We need coal and blasting powder. Okay, so what's the blasting powder? Because the grenades, I was told in the comments that what we could do is we could actually um, knock people off of those towers with the grenades and probably blow those doors down too. Uh, let's grab this really quick. We need to go and hit E and refill it. It's weird how that thing works, but we refilled that one. Let's go ahead and do the other one upstairs here too. I do like being able to see the Forsaken out here. Oh, by the way, we've not had any uh, pirate ships come over on this side. So it's my belief that they stay over in that area. They probably won't come. He's part of that, uh, that pirate encampment. So he will stay on that shore until we are ready to go blow him out of the water. And we will blow him out of the water. Yes, we will kill him. Um, okay, so we do that. Uh, so we can make the grenades, but we can't make the powder kegs. Uh, so let's go to inventory. Let's take a look at our skills. And uh, artillery, is that where it's going to be? Oh, oh, I haven't even learned the cannon stuff. Okay, we're going to have to... We've got everything open, but we don't have this open. So I need to go somewhere to get to that. Uh, is it... Was it... Uh, was it guns? Hmm... I don't have any points right now. We have to level up. I actually need to get points, I think, in my crew because they are costing me... Yeah, cheaper crew. I need to get to this cheaper crew. These guys are uh, costing me some money. Uh, they're going through some gold. What do they get? Uh, one gold every 5.8 hours. That's not... That's not much. But this is all I, I have. As far as I know, that's all I could find anywhere on the ship. I'm wondering if I left some gold behind at the other place. It's possible. This is me we're talking about, you know, and I just don't think about trading and gold and all that stuff very much. Let's take a look around real quick. Just just real humor me for just a second here. All right, as we walk about the Forsaken. By the way, no one's noticed that I forgot to paint this. <laughs> I've noticed it in every episode after the one where we painted it and we were floating through the ocean. Uh, left click. We want the region two. Right? Yeah. There we go. All right. That. What happened? Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, I want region one, not region two. Uh, how do I get. How do I undo? That's a question. How do I undo this? Dang it. Um, hmm. I don't know how, 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 how I do that. It doesn't look bad, though, does it? It still doesn't look like it's painted right. Whatever. I'll fix it later. Now that I've gone ahead and screwed it up, I'll fix it later. So we've, we've managed to destroy the ship's paint job. I think we're good. I think we're good off the ship. I just came down here to get some food. And then I also wanted to check out and see, do we have... Um, a couple of metal nodes down here that I can get my hands on. Let's see. Uh, we're going to leave the chicken, the hen, right there. She should be fine. We've not had anything uh, horrible on the beach here. 
I know exactly what they look like. We do have pure iron nodes on here, which is extremely handy uh, for making stone items. There's an alpha horse down the beach there. But I think where I found them mostly is back up in here, just inside the tree line here. They're small, they're dark gray, and they're kind of pointy. I, 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 what's this here? There's one right there. These guys are fantastic. So if I can find a couple of these and bring this back, we've got a bunch of metal in our workbench too. See, they're, they're, they're pure iron. And if I got the cart right here, I could go through without having to stop. Access it, drop it in there, bam. And then the weight, of course, what's whatever's on Bluto here is posted right there. So you can see when you're getting too far along. And here's another one right here. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, we got a bunch of wood. We got a bunch of thatch. We got a bunch of fiber. Fiber, of course, easy to get. Oh, I should have pulled him forward further, but that's okay. We could still move a little bit. We're okay. There we go. Perfect. And then what's he got on him? He's almost half full there, so we're just going to whistle him. If I have to walk back with him, that's okay. I'm still gathering up some resources for today's episode. There's another one right here. So in this case, come here, Bluto, and stop. There you go, right there, buddy. Perfect. I've got him on the low follow setting, so I don't know why I, I don't do these things right away when you guys tell me sometimes, but I, I guess I just get caught up in just playing the game, you know. I'm just It just doesn't get to me. But yeah, that low setting is really, really nice to have. How you doing, Bluto? What's your weight, buddy? Oh, it's, it's pretty high. Let's go ahead and head back. Uh, what else happened? Um... Okay, so we talked about that pirate. That was not my fault. She is made to swivel. The The cannon guys, they can only go so far. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so we know there's more of them right down here. This is great. That's great. Okay, beautiful. There's also tons of flint all over the place here. Oh, I'm missing my turn. It's... it's it is tricky to get around in here with with the uh, with everybody. It really is. There's a lot of rocks and stuff, which is great for building. I mean, this this place has got uh, just a ton of resources. There is so much stone in here. I go out for just a little bit, and I wind up with a ton of stone to build with, which is fantastic. There is no really good way. Oh, there's an iron node right there. Oh, and another one right down there. Okay, so there's two more really close by. Fantastic. Okay, so there's a bunch of iron. Bunch of stone. I mean, look at all this stone in here. And then these gray rocks, the gray rocks are coal. Pure coal. So look at all the coal that's sitting right here, too. We can make alloy for days, which I need for the rifle. I want to make that rifle and try it out, because I really enjoy shooting with rifles. I do. And then we just bring them right over here. Another tip that came in several episodes back. I meant to talk about it, and I completely forgot all about it. But every now and again, I think about it when I'm doing it. Like right now, jumping off on... Uh, Bluto's right, which is typically, if, you, if I hit E, I'm going to fly off. Well, that's just weird. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm in third person. I think it's because of the cart behind him. If you want to, and you want to go off on the left side, hit A, hold down A, and then hit E, and then he automatically goes to the left. I thought that was a really great tip, too. I love the tips. Love the tips. Uh, here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at that. Man, we got metal for days. Metal for days. Nice to hear you guys are enjoying the Xbox version. A couple of people have said they've had a, they're not being able to level up. Uh, maybe you can help Xbox players out there. They're not able to level up on the um, uh, Freeport Island. They're not getting any levels. They're staying there and they're working and they're doing everything we're doing in the game, but they don't level up. So if uh, you're an Xbox player and you know the reason for that, uh, go ahead and leave in the comments below so we can find out about it. That'd be great. Uh, okay, so where am I at? Let's see. I made notes. Okay, climbing picks and stamina. I'm now putting my points in stamina because I want to be able to climb uh, certain things. And in order to do that, uh, yes, make a few of these. I'm going to make four because they burn out much faster than the grappling hook does. Uh, man, speaking of which, could use a repair. So we're going to keep two of them on us at all times in case we need them. I didn't use them a lot in Season 1, but then I didn't use anything very much in Season 1 because I was just checking the game, is this something I want to play? <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's hook, line, and sinker, right? Hook, line, and sinker. Um, 
So keep the climbing picks on you, but now I need stamina because the climbing picks use stamina when you use them. So there's that. Uh, you, you've got to think about that. <sighs> Let's see. I'm not done here. I'm not done here. I'm going 100 miles an hour here in my head. Oh, 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 Bluto, 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 Bluto. No, 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 no. Just, just, just stay there, buddy. There you go. Thank you. In here, ladies and gentlemen, we have 81 wood foundations, 32 thatch floors, just to do some testing. Uh, we have an elevator. This was the other thing brought up. Maybe an elevator from the beach up to here would be cool. Why would it not be cool, right? It would be totally cool. So we have an elevator. I also made one of these platforms. I want to see what this does. I want to hold on to that. And let's grab... Um, go shift, double click. Let's grab 20 of those really quick. Just I'm just kind of curious as to how these things even work. I don't know how they work. I've never used uh, any of these things other than the thatch floors. Uh, let's quick spin around. There we go. We're back. Now, elevator coming up, but if you didn't know this, there are also zip lines in the game. So we're going to want a, to get a zip line installed, and there is a glider in the game. Something we can make already, and I've not done it yet. I want to make a glider before this episode's over. We're going to try it out. Um, if it's like the glider wings in Ark, then, uh, yeah, I don't know why I don't have a pair already. Because I love them. I love them to death. Uh, let's go down here. I figure if we're going to do this... It would be down here. Oh, there's some free oil and fish meat sitting right there. But we're okay. I kill the rabbits. I eat them. I eat the rabbits. And we're gonna get rid of you too. I'm so sorry. Big little female bear. Sorry about that. Now, the, the most reasonable spot I thought of down here, and there's this big rock right here, which we could maybe build something in, in the way and it wouldn't matter. Uh, let's actually pull Bluto a little bit closer over here. Let's pull him right into here. There we go. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> I was thinking the best spot for an elevator would be right here, but I don't know how they work. I've never done them before. Uh, that is amazingly awesome looking. How does this how does this actually go okay so i can't put it up there but i can go here now why can't i go up this way with it i'm not quite sure why it stops me from from doing that there but i can get to looks like right about there with this platform i suppose after the platform goes up god i don't know if I did the platform here like this, then I would have to come up with some kind of a staircase that would go up the rest of the way, or I could do a ladder, I guess, from the ground here up to that, and then put another elevator, say, on the back of that, going up as well. Hmm. This is where I want to start. I've got to figure out how I'm going to get up there. If I can figure out how to get from the Forsaken and from our large shipyard up to our base quicker, I want to I want to control the top of this plateau. I want that to be our area. It's going to be sizable. We're going to stay here. We're going to have some fun. We're going to do some building. We're going to get those pirates with some cans. We're going to have a good time. So I hope you're I hope you're on for the ride. If I do this right here. You can almost center that, because this is a groove. This is like a little ditch that runs kind of uh, parallel with this plateau up there. I, I looked at it really closely the other day. Uh, let's go ahead and move Bluto out of the way just a little bit more. Maybe he's in the way a bit. I don't know. You're never in the way, Bluto. Never. Ever. Don't let people tell you you are, because you're not. Uh, maybe... So right about here is where I've got to be. If I go in like that, I'm getting all the legs in. That looks about the highest it's going to go. I'm going to go like that, just right there. <clears throat> now, I've got these legs sticking out like that. It, it, they just do that, huh? Because you can't place it on the ground. So, now I'm curious, okay, what else can I put on here? Can I attach anything I want to on here? Let's grab this. I should have grabbed some ceilings, too. Uh, you are on attack your target, right? Beautiful. Anybody messes with him, they're in some serious trouble. Let's get up there and see. Woohoo! Love it. 
Up you go. Up you go, Ronan Condorian Condorian. Up you go. There we go, a little bit of swing there, and bam, you're up. Okay, so if I do this here, and I take the elevator, we don't need the spyglass right now, and I do this, oh, what do we got here? Really? Wood elevator tra- oh, I see. I see. So each one... Okay, these snap together. So I'm going to have to make a bunch of these in order to get this to work. Okay. But can you build onto it? Let's let's go ahead and uh, put number six away. We've got our uh, options over here. There's a small wood platform. Uh-oh. No snap point, huh? No snap point again. What do they snap onto? The edges? Well, that's kind of weird, huh? Um, would I want a large elevator? I guess if I did a large elevator, I would be able to bring an animal with me as well, right? But it's not going to snap to here. It says so right there. But then the elevator track... Do I have to do this first? Oh, I don't have a second one. Okay, I see what that is right there. All right, so how do you place this guy? That's, that's what I need to know. That's what I need to know is how do you place that guy? Let's go up and make a few more. Up we go. And then we can draw a zip line from here down and put something where we're going to build the ships and be able to just come down off of here really fast, you know? Or we can just soar with our glider wings. Speaking of which, let's take a look at C. Oh, come on now. Good news there, Jimmy. We found you a girl. Hmm. Is it in my inventory? It might be. Oh, it's going to get dark. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I bet it's in the tannery or the loom. It's probably in the tannery, so I'm going to have to get one of those made. Yeah, that's probably where it's at. Um, okay, so let's grab... I like the idea of having the platform there. Let's grab some of those. And... Let's grab five, six, seven, eight of those. I've got a big door for up here so we can get started on something to kind of secure us inside of so we don't have any problems. So far, knock on wood, we've had nothing really happen up here. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for more of those elevator blocks. So let's make another... How many of these can we make? We can make three. What do they take? Carotenoid. Oh, I bet we're going to be low on the carotenoid. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. It's going to get dark. I'm hoping I can figure this out. Maybe when it's dark, I'll, I'll break away and then come back. Uh, yes. Okay, so... <sighs> Got myself trapped in here. Delilah's tail is just long enough to get kind of hung up there. Uh, yeah, she's like, uh, you weigh a lot. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, it comes up right here, right through this little wash. I figured this might be another bad idea, bad area for us to set something up where we can come up and then access into our base up on this plateau here. So I thought this would be a good spot for it. Uh, eventually you fall, because I have fallen once. It did not kill me, which I was surprised. I fell all the way to the beach. There you go. I hold down right click to do that, left click to climb up. Okay, so I want to see if I can do this. Number seven. Number seven. Okay, there we go. I needed that first. Okay, I, I got it. Okay. 
Get that picked up. Okay, beautiful. Okay, I see. All right, so number. let me turn my light on for you. Number seven. We got to put the track down first. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And we're going to go with right there. Should I go with the, I, I probably should go with the large one, right? It's not going to get like crammed into the wall, is it? I hope not. Eh, it should be okay. It might go into the wall a little bit. I don't know. And then we've got to do that and that. And I probably need, what, four or five? I would say probably 15 more at least in order to do this correctly. This is crooked. This is not straight on there. I'm going with the wall, though. I'm not going with the platform. I'm trying to go with that. So we're okay. We're okay with that, I think. Maybe I'm not. Well, it's it's even with this right here. I'm looking at these angles over here, seeing it crooked, but it's it's straight on right here. It's straight on. We're good. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna make a few more of those, and I'm gonna need Bluto for that, of course. If we, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna see about that glider too. I, I thought I saw where I could. Yeah, it's the tannery. It'd be fun to try that out too. I love the grappling hook. It's really fun. Okay, let's uh, let me get some more uh, of those elevator things made, and we'll work on that right there, and then we'll uh, we'll come back. I'll try to get that up to the top and see how I'm going to go ahead and meet up up there, because that's going to be it's going to be its own kind of little structure right there outside of our base is what it's going to be. So I'll be back. Welcome back. I'm out hunting boars for their bones for carotenoid. <laughs> They've all been pretty tiny. There's just been one good-sized hog so far. But yeah, these guys, if you use your axe, get a bunch of bone. I need carotenoid in order to um, uh, make more elevator shafts. It's not going to work up on top. I can't snap anything to it while it's dangling in the air like that. I think what you have to do is you have to start from the wherever you're going to be at the top and work your way down is, is the key with, with that system. Uh, so it's not working. I could not get any floor pieces to stick to it And I was trying to figure out okay just if I did how am I gonna get this floor piece to, to stick so it just didn't work out too well That's kind of interesting. That's gross <laughs> That's not supposed to be like that. Uh, I've got quite a bit on me right now I think I might have enough to get me through uh, just kind of Going up and down the beach. I killed a bunch on the beach so far We've had plenty of boars uh, spawning along here. Uh, the bears are all still low level. Come on. Come on, Bluto. I'm looking for you to run, buddy. There we go. Now he's moving. So, yeah, I, I think what I'm going to have to do is go from the bottom up. Or, or from the, the platform down. I think what I'm going to do is take that platform. I'll see if I can build a staircase up off the platform. Right now, even like the posts don't want to sit on the in the middle of it. I think, I don't know that you can build in the middle of those platforms. It doesn't seem to want to have anything stick to it. Uh, even like the wood poles don't go, uh, they sink into the floor. It's it's kind of weird, it's kind of weird. Um, so I've got these guys, I've got a only a couple. I took the rest of them down because it just didn't work out. I think I've actually got them on Bluto here. Let's see here, let's drop that, that and that, yeah. and it. It's kind of interesting how it doesn't actually line up with um, the middle here. It just, uh, it, it's one side or the other, as you can see. You know what, let me get up there, and it's it's easier to tell from being, if you're up there. It's just easier. Up you go. Up you go, Ronan. Start swinging a little bit. Oh, you can't be moving while you're swinging. Just to get him up over that edge, and then he's up. Uh, number seven. Now, I could snap it here. Let me get into first person again. I could snap it here, and I could snap it here. Now, back here, we set it up right here. 
and it's it's so far away from that hillside it's a mile away from this hillside when you get up here and i try to do it from the top it's it's just not going to be a thing we could do maybe we can build a staircase off of this a, a rickety old looking staircase that goes up here either that or what i was thinking about doing and i find it so odd that it snaps on that side or this side there's several snap points for it you can see Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's supposed to be in the middle of one of these. That's it right there. Let's do that. Maybe that's going to be the key? Hmm. We'll see. There we go. And then I can come down with it. And I think once it gets to a certain distance down here, maybe what's going to happen, hopefully, is I'll be able to put... Um, some foundations down for it to sit on with with the elevator itself that's that's what i'm hoping for if that doesn't work then i'm gonna have to wait for feedback from you guys because i'm pretty sure wherever it lands it should go into the hopefully into the um uh, foundations and then allow me to put that top on it i'm using i'm just doing the uh left click on bluto i'm not using the right click because i don't want to pick up all these vegetables and stuff I'll wait until I'm better prepared to grab up that stuff. So right now what I'm saving is just that stuff right there. We've got 434 carotenoids, so we're pretty good. I think that's enough to probably get us going here. I have not taken the chicken back up yet. You can just imagine how long it took me to figure out, how is this thing going to work? Because it's like, you have to push it every time if you're by yourself. It says unmanned on there, so I'm a guessing. I'm a guessing. We need a crew member on here because it says unmanned. So if I take, oh, look at that. I got some carrots on me. Uh, my spyglass. Let's do this. I got a bunch of weight on me. Let's grab the gal who is doing all the sweeping there. Sh Crazy Charlotte Black. Could you come to me, please? Okay, very good, Charlotte. Nice. You made it fancy. The people appreciate that. Now I'm running down the beach with a monkey on my shoulder and a crew member behind me. I mean, that's just, uh, it's fabulous, right? So I think we have to have somebody back here in order for us to work this elevator because right now I can go up once and come down once, but I, that's all I can do. So let's see if we can get her to come over here. Yeah, she's set to follow me closely too. That just really works so well. Can she get up here? She can. Okay, so I think... Oh, wait. If I do this here? Use wood elevator crank. Uh-huh. She's geared up and ready to go. Now, this is not sitting exactly flat on the floor, so we've got that problem. But, let's see. Uh, e... Up. There we go. mode <laughs> whoa so that gives me renewed hope for this I was thinking oh my gosh what am I gonna do but this works great okay it actually disappears under the floor hmm call elevator oh look at that okay but that's okay then Oh, very cool. All right, so that's that's that. Now, I don't think... I think I'm going to keep this as a, a, a single-person type elevator because that way I'm hoping what I can do is grab crew, have them get on there. Hmm, I should almost do the bigger platform, huh? This is going to be pretty tight. Uh, small wood elevator platform. Let's demolish that. Let's get a new one. We're going to go with a bigger one. Because it's just going to be easier to get crew members on and off. Hmm, it's going to need one more block all the way around here in order to do this one here. I wanted to keep this relatively small down here. And we're going to have to put something up to protect her as well because we can't have her getting eaten. And then we're going to have to put food and stuff on her also. And a little bit of gold so she doesn't run out of that stuff. 
Like right now, her health is going to be... It probably should be down a little bit because she's just got two bumps in health. Um... I'm going to keep with the small one. I'm going to keep with the small one and do it that way. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll keep with the small one. We're going to need an extra crew member. And we're going to have to come back to this project uh, down the road. But that's pretty cool. I can actually... I mean, look at that. That is, that is pretty dang awesome, right? So, now that we know how these work... I'm thinking of the applications for it, and it looks really amazingly cool. Do I have... I don't. I thought I maybe I had the wood foundations on me, but I don't. Um, but that is going to work out pretty cool. We just need to get a crew member for it. And then we're going to have to set up food and everything out here. That's coming... Is that coming down crooked? A little bit, huh? I probably... Well... It's a little bit crooked. It's a little bit crooked. I think you're supposed to start at the bottom and work your way up, and I think they probably work really well inside buildings and stuff, especially. Uh, but we're going to use it out here. I think it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. And then what we'll do is we'll do we'll do something around this, and I'll put stairs that come up on here as well from this side right over here, so we can get in and out of here. And I think that's going to work out pretty good. Uh, the other thing we could... Oh, you know what we could even do? Well, we're not going to be using this to go up and down uh, to get to the base. Maybe we will. I don't know. Um, it's, it's quite possible. I would love to have a zip line up top that we can use to come down this way. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and stop working on this right now. We'll come back to it. Uh, I'll let you guys throw in some ideas. You always have great ideas and stuff, so it's just always fantastic. Let's do that right there. We're going to need to fix that before it breaks on us while we're, you know, climbing around. Uh, and, yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. I would also like today, in today's episode, the elevator is cool. I like that. And we'll make that platform. We'll put cannons on it because it's right here. Before it gets too cold, let's take a look under here, too, so you guys can see. Oh, I lost my vitamin buffer. Right through here, we should be able to put the large shipyard out here and be able to build our brigantine right off of here which is going to be fabulous boom we're, we're straight out you know that's just great because the goal is of course to to build our brigantine uh and then maybe even take and build a second schooner and we'll take our other schooner and turn it into more of a, a war type schooner put a few cannons on it and take some crew out and see if we can't annihilate uh you know that pirate ship and just see how that works I think what I've seen is the best thing to do is just to have them kind of chase you and then you fire from the back of your ship at them as they're chasing you and you eventually, of course, sink them is the idea. But look at that. Okay. So what I want to do next is kind of lay out where I'm going to go with the base up here and how it's going to be shaped and uh, work out. And I think what I'm going to have to do is cut these trees down again and move everybody kind of further up this way because I'm going to be using this entire area uh, right in here, I think. It does slope this way, and it slopes this way. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out, so I'm going to fiddle around with that, and then I'll come back. I think I got a plan. We're going to come out this way. We're going to come to kind of a diamond shape in here, I think. How's that looking over that way? It's going to be sizable, for sure. Um, and then I need to come out this way, too. So it starts to rise up in different areas, of course. It's bound to. I'm thinking about making this area down here our forge area. Uh, there's a little bit of grass poking through right here. Some of it, you just, you know, it's going to be there. And I don't know you could do much about it other than double up all the blocks. We, we could do that. It's difficult to see because I've got these guys sitting in here right now. But I thought if we came out this way... I think we could... It's going to be... Kind of rectangular shape. Let's go... Yeah, it's going to be pretty big. I have uh, the no collision on. So that uh, I can go right into the ground, right into the rock walls and everything else. You just have to, before you start the game, go into options and find it in there. 
I think it's under advanced settings, but it's very handy uh, to have because then you don't have to worry about... Okay, so we need to go there with that one. Okay, so we're going up here. Okay. We're going to have to go up here again. The thing is, we're going to have multi a multi-level kind of thing going on here. Let's see. How far can we go? It's going to go underground there. It's still underground there, so let's put one right there too. Now, how far out are we on this side? Not even close. Okay, so let's go like that. Looks to me like right about here is where we're going to go. I figure if I've got enough room to bring Bluto in, it's going to work. We have a door on this side right here. This will be... This is going to be storage. I was, instead of a, a through, going straight through with the stuff, uh, I was kind of, I'm kind of just kind of going with the terrain. Oops, sorry about that. Blue Dog, did he get burned? I think he might have gotten burned. What we're going to do is we're going to make it so that we can come in, pull him in, and then turn him inside here back out. They've got a really great turning radius, so there's plenty of room in here to do that. Workstations on the side, depending on what it is, they're carrying in the carts or which animal we have with us uh, and is is bringing materials back for us uh, I think that I think it'll work if we've got a big area right in the middle here that's gonna work the best Delilah I'm gonna be a little heavy maybe not okay oh you got a level what You're so amazing 472 there you go you roll around I want to a rain barrel here hold on a second barrel 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 there we go let's make one that way I don't have to run down the ship to get water. The ship's got plenty of water on it. We don't. So let's go ahead and get a barrel going right now. I think if I put this... Well, let's run this over here because we can pick it back up again. Let's put it right over here. Open that up and we should start getting water in it right away. You going to put some water in there? It, there we go, 36. 36 units of water. Okay, so we've got to make sure we turn that guy off. That way I can fill up my water uh, my water jar right up here. Uh, Alright, so... I think what I need to do is I need to put these guys down first and see just where we're going to wind up at here. Is this going to be enough room... I want to do sort of a diamond type pattern. I want this to come to a point right here as best I can. We'll see how that works out. But I figure if I put a forge or two right out here, that would be enough to make alloys in at the beginning here until we get to, you know, the next island where we're going to build our next base. This is going to be our D5 place. You know, we got to be on this side. We've got a place to come to. Um... But I do, I want it to come out to a point right here. And then I'm thinking about putting a little cannon thing right out here too. Just so we've got a look out into the ocean right there. Uh, to, to if, if for some reason something comes by, we can hit it. We'll shoot at it. You know, why the heck not? Um, yeah, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to do some, some figuring. I think what I should probably do is make a whole bunch of thatch. Uh... More, more thatch floors, just so I can experiment with this stuff a little bit more. If I go here, this next one is definitely underground. So if I go like so, like that, let's grab some more of these. I've got a few more of these made, and I think I can make some more. Um, but, da, 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 nope, they're in here. I think they're in here. There we go. There's 30 of them. I'm encumbered. I know. I know. It's the story of my life, right? Wood, thatch, fiber, stone, metal. I've gone down and got another load of metal because I am going through the foundations like crazy. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Uh, I was going to check out that glider, too. I really do want to try out a glider. Where do we end at? Right here. Right here? Okay, so I think I'm going to make it all the way across with one down here. I am. Okay, fantastic. And if I'm going to do sort of a, a angled entrance in here, 
if I come up right here, everything's going to have to go up one right here. The entranceway, all of it has to come up one. We'll see. We'll see what this is going to turn out. I'm trying to go with the terrain. There we go. Beautiful. I thought that wasn't going to stick for a second. I was going to be like, oh no, why not? But it did. <clears throat> so this is going to take some... This is going to take some doing to fill this in with floors. Uh, we could do an outdoor area here for the barbecue. We could even probably get a couple of crop plots to try out right out here too. Yeah, we could do that. It's a sizable structure. And then what we do once we get this put in and we get the floor all laid, it's it's got to be it's going to be stone around the edge for sure and then we'll probably switch over to uh, wood in the center because I just like the way they look together I think that would be really great if I were to do a side entrance right here say one right down here to try to keep that whole triangle kind of design going through here we would come through it's not gonna be it's gonna be kind of a square I guess is what it's gonna be but it's gonna be multi-leveled so that's gonna be kind of cool I think that'll pay off in the long run just having it multi-leveled it looks to me like I could probably get away with... If I come straight across here... Forget the triangle thing, it's just not going to work out. And do that right there. And then I come back across... Okay, so now we've got this going on. We've got this lower area right here for the forge, uh, for the grill, for anything that's hot and needs to be outdoors. We'll have it out here. Kind of an open area with the view from this area right in here. We'll be able to see out towards the Forsaken, for, towards the ocean, uh, that big old rock out there, the trees and everything. That's, that's a pretty nice view. That's a really nice view. And then it looks like I'm going to have a bit of an area right here. The grass starts to poke through pretty heavy right here again. So I could do, say, the tannery and the loom in this section down here. And then up here, we do our smithies and our storage containers up in this area here. And then if we want to, we can do a stored, uh, a, a, like a living quarter area uh, further up. Let's see. The wheels are spinning, people. They are a spinning. Okay, I got a little bit of stone on me. Oh, yikes, that's hot. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, have I thanked you for the support of the series? Thank you for the support of the series. You guys are amazing. Uh, another 25. Yeah, let's do it. It's going to take a lot of these to get this taken care of. <laughs> a lot. But that's okay. That's all right. The grind is, is quite pleasant. I could go out with Bluto for... 10 minutes with with the uh, gather rate at 2. Being somebody who's got maybe 3, 4 hours at the most to kind of put these videos together uh, for us, um, it works out really, really well. And with the materials just abundant everywhere, especially if I'm going to build out of stone. There, you, as you can see, there is stone. Uh, I can't jump up that. That's pretty cool. There is stone everywhere up here. So it's, it's, it's an easy resource. Oh. The rain's going to stop. Let's close our barrel. What do we get? 1,300 water? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. There we go. Oh, water's filled up because it was raining, of course. Okay, so we've got some more of these guys. Let's go down here. <laughs> I've got myself so I can't get through this area. I've, I've got to rearrange, of course, all this stuff. We're going to start by with the forge area here, too, because I want to get going on alloy. Um... Oh, I've got 26 left in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got more of these that made than I thought I did. So at this point here is where we're going double. Okay, so we're doing here. Here. We're going to have to come across here like so. That's an awful lot. That's going to be a lot of grass showing through there, isn't it? I want this floor to be stone down here because we are going to have the forge, the cooking stuff. It it burns. You, I, I don't want it on a wood floor down here. But up in this area here, we can switch over to wood. Um, 
I guess I'm okay with that because it's going to be a pretty beat up area. Oh, you're going to want to come. You're going to want to jump up here, aren't you? No, nope, maybe not. Okay, so I will be able to do that. Okay, that's great. It's going to be able to stay down at this level. Yeah, there's going to be some grass showing. Hmm. I don't, I'm not too thrilled about that idea of the grass showing here. By the way, use your bear's right attack on this stuff and you get so much more. And these little sticks down here. I don't know if I mentioned it. There's these little stumps all over the place. You just kind of notice them out of the corner of your eye. They're really great for materials. They've got a lot in them. I'm surprised. I think I'm going to go with having some grass showing through here. I, I probably will. Well, I really didn't want to do that. And to be honest, we could actually go further with this. We could go where the boars are, and we could put that over there. And then make this double thick like this, and then put the forges up at this level. That would look pretty cool. And then we don't have grass showing through the floor. I don't like having the grass show through the floor. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be pretty expensive, but let's let's get started on it at least. Let's commit to this. I'm watching the red arrow, making sure it's pointed the right direction. That was a tip given to me in the last season and it is uh, amazingly great. 8 Oh, it's just it's just bright out. Had a heat event overnight. Didn't phase me one bit, which probably doesn't surprise any of you. Why are you dropping down like that? There you go. Up you go. Up you go. Like so. And then, yeah, it's going to be... Oh, boy. Um, okay. He's getting himself stuck. I'm going to have to remake all of these benches, which is okay. And move them. And then I'll have to get the other floor put in, which is going to take some time. No, 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 yeah, I want you down, I want you down here. We want to do it right, right? We don't want to, we don't want to cut corners. It's okay, it's just a little bit of grind. I can usually go out, like I said, for about 10 minutes and make a bunch of these. Uh, so it's not a bad thing at all. Let's go T, T, and T, and let's get rid of this guy right here. There we go, out you go. Out you go. Let's put uh, squatter right here. There we go. Let's pick up our, our wonderful chicken Jimmy. I've not, no, I've not gone and picked up the hen for Jimmy. They're having a conversation. So which did come first? <laughs> Said the monkey to the rooster. Which did come first? Is it just me or is it really bright? <laughs> it seems extremely bright right here. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that makes me feel better, huh? Does that look good like this? Yeah, without the grass poking through? I think so, yeah. So I gotta do a bunch more of these. I gotta make all this stuff again. I'd rather not place it all over again until I absolutely need to. So let's take a look at a forge. Nothing's too expensive. Uh... Hmm... Oh, I wonder, you know, I bet it's just in my inventory. I, I, I never think about that. It's just, he, you know, it's just a massive structure. Flint, hide, metal, and stone. Uh, flint, hide, metal, and stone. There's some hide. Oh, there's some hide. Oh, I've got to take this back. There we go. Uh, metal. 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. That's just holding down shift, double click. And stone, 100. I need 20 stone. There's 14. Oh, stone, really? Stone's going to be my... Stone's going to be the bane of my existence at the moment. I'm just going to drop that stuff in there. Let's grab a little bit of stone so we can do the forge and get it 
set up. We can take a look at it today, if anything else, and uh, get prepared to do some, some fun stuff with it. Get the cannon maids that we could put on the back of Bluto and go in with the boars and just shoot the pirates right out of their perches with a cannon. I think that would be so cool. Okay, and I, oh, I need to make the tannery too because I wanted to show you guys the tannery and check out the glider. So we've got a couple of things we still have left to do. A longer episode, as usual. It is the weekend after all. Uh, so I just did that and I threw it all back in here. We're going to grab that, the flint... Uh, some metal. Uh, what else did I need? Wood. Uh, hide flint and fibers. Flint and fibers. Okay. F is this this is coal? Where's my flint? There's my flint. All right. And hide sixty-five. Where did I put the hide at? It's right here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so let's make a forge. A forge. We'll make that. Let's drop all this stuff back off. We want to be able to brew some alloy for sure. For sure. So I would like to have... You know what? We could put it right over here too, overlooking the uh, forest side as well. I could use a few more of those foundations. Can we make any more? Can we make three more foundations? Or did I, do I have more in here and I just didn't notice it? I should check. I don't have any more. Okay, we've gone through a lot. Uh, when you think you've made enough, make about a billion more. <laughs> uh, sure, let's do it. And then what do I need for the tannery? Uh, carotenoid. Ooh, that could be a thing. Oh, no, we've got carotenoid. All right, beautiful. No, nope. you got to hit over here. How much do we need? 40 of it, so we might as well just grab that. Metal and wood. Hide and fibers. Okay, so hide and fibers. There we go. And let's get a tan. Oh, oh. Fibers, 40. I put thatch in there. I didn't put fiber in there. There we go. Tannery coming up, ladies and gentlemen. I want to take a look at that. Uh, oh. At the uh, glider. And I believe I've got to use this in order to do it. So let's uh, let's go up here. Oh, we're making those uh, foundations too. We're just busy. It's a busy day. It's a busy day in the radio world of Atlas. Mm-hmm. It is. I love it. You know what? I Actually, Thursday I was not able to record because my daughter needed my help in the afternoon. And I just could not get on. And um, I think I can remember. There we go. I came in here for about 40 minutes just by myself, just kind of hanging out and doing some grind. And I got to tell you, man, I loved every second of it. It was so relaxing to be in here and just grinding. Um, let's set it down, make sure we're good in the back here. I would like to be able to get around this, and we can, so that's, that's fantastic. That's what I want to do. So this is your forge. He's pretty dang handsome, is he not? I mean, that is an awesome looking forge. Awesome. Let's grab some wood. I believe if I have coal, wood, and metal, and metal, I will be able to make some alloy. You are encumbered. Indeed I am. So if I go like a so in here, and you look right over here, uh, iron ingot, we need coal, iron, and wood to make those. Now I also... See, you're going to use the wood to make the iron. So let's grab a little more wood. We'll put that in here, and then we'll be set for a little bit. We can cook that stuff up. Now, this thing gets... Wow, that's a lot of wood there, radio. I don't know if you need that quite that much. Let's grab half of that stack there. Let's do like so. T. And what is what is it exactly? Iron, two, two per alloy. Two per ingot. I'm sorry, ingot. I believe this counts as alloy, though, when you want to make it. I believe it is. Light fire. This thing gets super hot. Craft all 100. Let's do it. I think it's 65 for just the, the, the rifle alone of alloy. But you can see, watch, the, watch my, my heat index goes up quick. If I stand here, see, the, I get the hot icon down there. It gets very hot. 
But there is a way we can combat that. Uh, let's see. Can I make a lever? What am I missing? Metal and gem. Oh, gem. Okay, well, the guess what? I did see some gem on this island. One of these hillsides has got some gem on it when we were looking for going after the pirates. We found it. Cold front. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me at all. Not at all. What a view, huh? And what we could do outside here is we could actually do a door here somewhere, you know, come out the door and be on sort of a decking right here that would go down uh, to the grassy area. So we could do something like that too. But the main first thing we have to do is get established is our floor. And I can see what I'm going to have to do right now. Basically, we are going to have to go from here all the way down to here. That, I think that's it's going to be like three blocks up. Three foundations high all the way down to this mark right here. Right here. Uh, I might be able to get away with one more. We'll see. And then... Jimmy. Always looking for attention. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's take a look. We got some hot ingots going on in here. Oh, look at that. 25 ingots already. Dang. That's awesome. So if we come in here and we go rifle. Oh, oh that's odd. Um, weapons. Firearms. We need 65 alloy to make that rifle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it takes oil, too. I did not notice that. So we're definitely going to make that rifle. And we're also going to get our hands on that six-shooter, too. I like that idea. Now, where is that tannery at? Didn't I say to make a... Oh, it's in my inventory. Number seven. Okay, number seven. Uh, gosh, you know... It's no big deal. It's just stuff, right? We can we can make another one of these. Let me go ahead and... Uh, let's just turn that out. Let's turn that off right now. If I put a tannery out here, and I put it, say, right about here, I wonder if that's going to interfere with, my, with the heat. So you got that cold front going on. Doesn't it look chilly out there? Look at that. It looks freezing out there. Can I get around behind this guy? Probably not. Let's pick him up for now. Nope, 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 nope. Pick it up. There we go. Number seven. You got a time limit as how long you can wait to pick stuff up. I think if I'm over here, I'll be okay. Yeah, let's see about that. We'll come through there. We can actually get around the back side of it. That's great. I'll probably replace this anyways because I would rather have it in the next area. Uh, but what we need for the glider, let's see. GLI glider uh, metal 24 carat and fiber okay so six metal 24 carat and some fiber we got some metal in here let's go 5 10 15 let's take 20 out of there and put that in here and then what else was it uh, glider carotenoid and fiber okay so carotenoid and fiber oh, come on tell me I've got some there we go carotenoid and fiber the carotenoid I think is gonna be a thing we're gonna have to go boar hunting on a regular basis uh, and then turtles, too, I guess. Bugs and stuff. Let's make one. I'm dying to see what this looks like, and I can't believe I haven't made one before now. Okay, I believe if this is like Ark. No? A lot of mystery surrounds the principal inventor of the glider suit. While there is no direct line back to whomever created it, the original blueprint is stamp marked with the initials VT. It's said that a reward exists for anyone who learns their real name. Right click for more options. Now, that never does anything. Um, transfer. Consume. Do I have to put that on here? Hmm. Hot bar? Oh, just on your hot bar. Okay. Oh, easy. Okay, gotcha. Oh, look at that thing. That is really cool. It looks like it's relatively heavy, though. Let's check our. Let's check and see what we're looking at for weight. Oh uh, no, we're okay. I'm just moving slow, I guess, with it on my back. It probably slows you down, I would imagine, right? Oh, you know what we should do? We should fly down and put her on back on the ship. So space bar, space bar, glider opens up. Mm 
You can't fly very far with it, though. Oh, that works out great. Look at that. Just jump and space bar. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. Um, I would imagine it takes... Yeah, it's, it's probably going to take a little bit of damage as well. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so what if I take... It, it seems to be... A, I'm slowing down just because I have it on my hotbar. Let's see, can I run faster now? I can. Okay, so it slows you down if it's on your back. I need you, Crazy Charlotte, to um, unseat. There you go, darling. Thank you very much. You did a marvelous job for me today. Thank you for helping me with the elevator. Crazy Charlotte Black. Yoo-hoo! Uh, one of you suggested I take the crew out with swords and give them a little bit of uh, fight time with uh, some lower level stuff to level them up. I love that idea. We'll do a little bit of that. We'll try it out and see what they're like in action, for sure. Hello, Mr. Crow. Aren't you awesome? All right, so let's get her back. Oh, can I actually do that from here? Let's see. Uh, okay, so let's give her a Y to unfollow, and let's send her back to the schooner. <laughs> she got back up there. Okay. I love that. You're freezing. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I find it getting on the ladder in third person way easier. Uh, let's grab her off of that precarious perch she's on. Charlotte, please come back over this way. There we go. You did a marvelous job. Please feed yourself and uh, extra gold for you and the crew because you're all amazing. And look at this. I bet you got a level two, don't you? Yes, you do, you crazy milk or milk and cow. All right, awesome. So basically, we're we're we're, we're on track with our. Oh, Bucky's following me. You stay there, Bucky. Huh. Oh, we got a chicken. Nice. Um. Yeah, gosh, that elevator. You guys, throw me some ideas about the elevator. I think that's really cool. If you could do that, that'd be awesome. Uh, but it, I can see where it's going to work. We're going to have a big structure up there. And then we're going to have to build a second structure that's going to be for our animals. I would really, like I said, like to consume that upper plateau with uh, maybe several buildings with, you know, a protective wall around them or something like that. You know, we'll, we'll have fun with, with all kinds of different things. Uh, we need to get into, I would like to try the stone gateway out as well. And we'll do that when we go ahead and build the wall. Right now, I want a workshop, so I've got some place to take all of our, our things, all of our resources there with thatch, fiber, stone, you know, blah, 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 blah. All those wonderful things we have to gather up, get those put inside someplace. Uh, and then we're going to put a wall up around the area. And uh, after we'll put the wall up after we build uh, a pen for uh, the animals to go into, especially the boars and um, the cow and uh, the chickens and stuff. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to keep all these boars. I don't know that I need all of them. I think some of the lower levels I'll get rid of. It seems to me that they, they handle themselves pretty dang well. Jimmy, meet baby. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her. And she's starving to death. Worst, worst, worst host ever. Here you go, darling. Take some berries. How are you guys doing anyways on food? 39, huh? Jimmy? Jimmy? Can't see you, Jimmy. Everybody's leveling up. Whenever they level up, radio levels up. That's going to have to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I am the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.